Microsoft have just released a new feature for Intune Remote Help. This is called Remote Launch and lets an administrator launch a remote help session on a user's computer from the Intune console. It sounds pretty impressive. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works. Firstly, thank you to Shane Miller for pointing this out to me. I completely missed that this had come out and he suggested I make a video on it. So here we are. I'm going to jump into the Intune console on my left screen here. You can see this one here is uh, the admin. That's your typical admin, right? A, a lion. Uh, so we have this Intune console on the left hand side here and on the right hand side this is our user So I think it's Lee Lee. Yeah, so Lee's logged in here and I am logged in as the admin over on the left here So very very simple To get started you will need to make sure you've got the latest version of Windows 10 or 11 And you have the Intune management extension installed and all that kind of stuff Take a look at the links below to see the requirements for this, but let's just take a look at how it works so from the into an admin center, I will find the name of the computer, which is number 12. And then over on the right hand side here, we have new remote assistant session. Click that. And it says you can choose between remote help and team viewer as if anyone uses team viewer these days. We use remote help. That was a joke. Don't please don't attack me. I know team viewers brilliant. Sorry. So we choose remote help. It says at the top, the device you're connecting with is not connecting to is not compliant with the organization's security policies. So be cautious. This device is brand new. It hasn't done any of the uh, compliance checking yet. It's good that it lets you know, right? So choose continue. And it says it's sending a notification to the user's device. Uh, and it did. And there's the notification within seconds. I didn't even have time to finish my sentence. Uh, it's popped up and it's gone away pretty quickly, actually, thinking about it. Um, there's a little, down here, there's a little pop-up, remote help, Dean Ellaby from Last Coffee. Okay, um, well, let's say I didn't see it, because that was, like, half a second, <laughs> five or six seconds of, of notification there. Let's try retry, see what happens. Okay, there it is. And now, yeah, if you don't see it the first time, maybe you'll see it the second time. Just click on it there, and it opens remote help. And it says waiting for the person to help, waiting for the person helping you to set up the session. And on he on the admin side, we need to go ahead and choose launch remote help, which opens up remote help. And then the normal remote help workflow starts from here. This is where you can choose between viewing screen and uh, controlling the screen. Let's let's see how it works. Okay, so take full control and view screen. I'm going to go with full control because that's pretty cool. Uh, and apologies for the tiny screen sizes on this, but I wanted to get both of these in the same screen. Uh, so the user on the right hand side needs to choose allow. And within a few seconds, we'll have connectivity. There we go. It says again, the device is not compliant. It really isn't happy about that, is it? We'll choose OK. And there we go. We have uh, full control of this session. If I choose that, it opens there. This is Lee. Yeah, and then we can even do the annotation thing for a few seconds. It'll kick in. Again, it's not compliant with the organization. Really doesn't like that, does it? And then we can explain that we need to look at the time. Look at the time. There it is. Look at the time or perhaps click the start button. Very, very cool. Remote help is a lot of fun. As you can see, Microsoft are doing iterative improvements of this service. So take a look at it. See you next time.